Hello, and welcome to my ambient field guide, and this is going to be uh, on disintegrating loops. It'll be my disintegrating loops part one. I kind of did something similar where I showed off how I use my El Capistan. I'll bring back the El Capistan for a later iteration of this video, and I'll be using different uh, loopers and delay pedals to do this. But I thought I would use the Eventide Rose. Eventide Rose is a very interesting pedal. Um, it's a digital pedal that is very analog in its uh, nature of how it does its repeats. So it obviously has a digital delay line where it uses RAM, a codec, in order to digitize and uh, re-analogize everything. Uh, but it uses a, a um, analog feedback loop, an analog filter, and I believe the LFO for the modulation is also analog. So it, it sounds fantastic, and it can do 50 seconds of delay time, which is really cool. And it also has a filter that sits in, like, after the... Um, main delay line and before the feedback loop so everything that feeds back through it will be filtered so that'll be part of how we degrade the signal so yeah uh, the way i'm going to do this is i have this set to kill dry in order to do that you just hold the invert here and then you hold active and then you scroll through until this is set to kill input refer to the manual to do that um, but yeah that's kind of like having trails on so you want to have trails turned on, they just call it kill input. I mean, I wish they called it, you know, something normal, but eventide uh, is eventide. So yeah, we can forgive them because they were kind of the first in a lot of cases. But yeah, so this thing emulates a rack delay uh, with 50 um, seconds of delay time, a rack delay of the uh, late 70s, early 80s. So yeah, I have a really cool harp patch here on my web state. We'll use that as our first part. And um, we want to be set in the longest delay time. In order to do that, you hold down delay. And as you see here, when you hold it down and move it, you can see the LEDs change there. When it's in the topmost setting, you know it's in the longest delay time. Now you can fine uh, change this. So we're going to turn it down into the shortest time in the longest delay mode. So that's how long it'll be. The reason we're doing this is because we can now listen to what it's going to sound like without it going out of control or waiting for the full 10 seconds. Because we're going to use 10 seconds of looping time. We're not going to go up to 50, but we'll use 10. All right. So that kind of gives the idea of what it's going to sound like. Um, I have modulation turned on. Just uh, I have the depth about here, and I have the rate there, and it's set to sine wave. So... Here, listen to the repeats. It sounds very nice, very organic, very analog in my opinion. We have a dig here and a black hole. We'll be bringing those in later. But yeah, it, it sounds really fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the delay time to the full 10 seconds. And we're also going to bring up the feedback once we really feel like it's going to sound like we want. And I have the filter about here. Let's listen to the filter all the way off. Perfectly clear repeats. We want to have it right around here maybe. So a little bit darker repeats, maybe even a little more. Like I said, we have it set, oh, that's a little too dark to the, a shorter delay time so we can hear what we're doing without having to do the full loop, to commit to the loop. This isn't like the El Capistan. Um, I'm going to bring the El Capistan back and like I said, some other pedals to do some more of the disintegrating loop videos slash uh, Furpertronic style videos. Um, but yeah, um, we want to have it a little dark. But yeah, with the uh, El Capistan, what I was saying is you can easily clear out the buffer by uh, unsplicing and re-splicing the loop. In this, you have to turn the feedback and the delay all the way down and let the buffer naturally clear out, which makes it a little annoying to use. I still personally recommend the El Capistan if you want a disintegrating looper. This is a different flavor, has a totally different sound to it. I like it too. I prefer the El Cap for certain things. I prefer this for to the certain things as well. Um, so yeah, this will sound like a really long Bucket Brigade delay. Uh, which is really cool. 
But okay, so we have that now set. We're not going to change the delay time just yet. We're going to turn up the feedback right around here. That'll give us a very stable loop, but it will disintegrate. Okay. You can hear it start to disintegrate. See how it's getting, it's getting weaker. Obviously, the volume's dropping. But it's also getting more anemic as it goes, which is really lovely. And with a reverb at the end of that and the dig at the end of it, it's going to sound really cool. But yeah, so we have, again, some modulation, so it's going to be a little wobbly too. Um, yeah, I feel that's how we want it. So that is what we're going to do. So um, let's hear the... Uh, so now with the dig in place... It's going to sound a little different, but yeah. And now we have the black hole. Okay, so now we know what's going on with these. We're going to keep these on now. And I'm going to wait for this to die out. And yeah, well, I'll clear it out. So this is what I do. I turn the delay all the way down like this. And then I turn the feedback off and I wait 10 seconds. I just wait 10 seconds and now the buffer is clear and I'll turn the feedback back up and now what we'll do is we'll turn the delay time up so the delay is now set to what we want and now that we have um, kill input on, when we deactivate the pedal, it'll still keep disintegrating. But what'll happen is we can play over it without adding to the loop. So let's go ahead and get a loop in there and we'll see what this sounds like. I don't want my strings in the loop, so I'll turn off the pedal, and now we'll bring in the strings. I'm going to go ahead and clear the buffer. I'll keep the delay time up, but we'll clear out the buffer by turning the feedback all the way down. So the next loop will, it'll repeat once more and then the buffer will be completely cleared out. See, buffer completely cleared out. Now, isn't that fantastic? Just the way it sounds. I mean, it sounds like a Bucker Brigade delay that's super long, that's doing for Protronics, uh, sorry, for Protronics style looping. That's always a tongue twister for me. But yeah, it, it just sounds amazing, especially with a little bit of modulation in there. Um, yeah, and then we have the dig here is adding some ping pong echo to it. I like to have a um, lo-fi delay after the rows. In this case, I'm using the dig in 12-bit mode. Uh, the tone is quite a bit rolled off, as you can see there. Um, I have it in ping pong mode with a uh, golden ratio on the second time. And yeah, and then it's going into the black hole. And I have the gravity quite a ways up, the size quite a ways up. And yeah, a little bit of feedback and a little bit of, um, I don't think I have any pre-delay on this, but yeah, the feedback's going up. And yeah. I, I just think it sounds gorgeous. It's a different style to the El Capistan. 
like I said, I just said this a few minutes ago, the El Capistan will be coming back in a disintegrating loop video again. Um, and I really need to make a video about the Eventide Rose where I do a retrospective since I did a video, I think it was four years back. I still feel that the Eventide Rose is so unique that it's super um, useful for something like this, but for lots of other things. So I'll do like a, a four-year um, review or whatever you want to say to the Eventide Rose. It's it's just a wonderful delay. Um, I will play out. I'll try and do that loop again. I'll try and do it a little better that I'm not talking to you guys. But yeah, it, it, it's cool. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm rambling now, but it sounds really cool. Um, I will also have some other pedals I'll be using for, uh, for Protronics slash disintegrating loops. I have a habit being delivered tomorrow. Hopefully if that gets delivered, I'll have a video about the Chase Bliss habit. And I'm really, really on the edge about getting a blooper. What do you guys think? Should I get a blooper? The blooper kind of does disintegrating loops, but you have to keep it active the entire time as it disintegrates as far as I know. But we could do some cool things with that. I mean, I really want one. Um, I don't know. I did just sell my PlayStation 5 not too long ago, so maybe I can justify getting it. So I don't know. Maybe I will. Yeah, let, let's play out with this. Let's uh, get the loop started. I'll get the feedback up again. We're gonna make it a little darker. We'll go back to the uh, harp. And the way I know it's the harp, it's, I don't name anything as you can see. It's in it performance, of course, it's in it patch. But yeah, I got two layers here. So I got the harp harmonics and the overall harp overtones here. Uh, yeah, so the attack and the, yeah. You know what I mean. So yeah, let, let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, I'll play you out. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so already, like, comment, and subscribe, or dislike the video if you didn't like this kind of content. But I feel like, um, yeah, disintegrating loops are something that I really like. I'm sure there's a lot of people that like them as well, because it seems to be a topic some uh, quite a few people tried to talk about, but there's not a lot of content out there for it. Anyway, goodbye.